Hi, I'm Dom and welcome to my channel, The Metal Muse, where I discuss all things metal. But today I am not discussing anything. I am going to be reacting. And today I'm reacting to Lord of the Lost leaving planet Earth. Now, the reason I'm doing this is one, I've never seen the video. I've seen one still of it with um, the lead singer, Chris Harms, wearing a big hat, black lipstick. That's it. Um, so I thought, right, time to watch the video. I just watched Blood and Glitter and reviewed that. And that's the song that they're actually going to put forward for Eurovision this year. FYI, voting for Eurovision is now open. So you can vote for them and they can represent Germany and go to a song for Liverpool and just represent goth metal on the world stage, which I think would be fabulous. So without further ado, but one morning though, I just got braces. So I'm going to be drinking throughout this. Um, why don't we crack into it? However, I just noticed I am not as shiny as one should be if one is going to do, well, wear latex on screen. Two seconds. I want to shine for the occasion. Does anyone else love the sound of latex? Like, I do listen to this. Listen to this. Mm, so good. I also love the sound of it getting shined. I think that's why I wear it so much when I go to gigs. I mean, it's not practical. It's definitely not practical, um, but it is it's fun. It's a fun material. Right, let's just uh, crack into the video because I have been rambling way too long. Yeah, this is the hat I was talking about. <laughs> What? Okay, so this is the hat I saw on social media and the look, but I didn't realize the wig was quite so long. And um, I'm not gonna lie, he reminds me of somebody, and I'm worried that people will think I'm a B word if I say it. But have you ever seen South Park, a little TV show called South Park? And there was a certain episode with a certain character called Miss Havisham, and she had robot monkeys. Yeah, Chris is giving off real Miss Havisham vibes right here. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, look at that silhouette. Mm. Pi is one of these guys, he always pulls a good silhouette. Like in every video, he has a silhouette moment and clearly this is the one. Ah, oh, there's Nick, 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 Nick. I love Nick. He is literally one of my favorite drummers. Like see him on stage, see when he does the entrance to Lorelei. Every time my heart stops, like it's just something to watch. And then when he like starts to lose it and like go really mental on the drums, he reminds me of Animal from the Muppets. And I, I just love watching him drum. Looking back at my planet, my country, does he have nipple tape on? Did you see that too? Did I just see that? We'll keep watching because I'm pretty sure I saw some tata -ta tape. Zooming in for a goodbye. My block, my street, my house. Right, you keep your eyes open too, and we'll see if we can spot some tata -ta tape. Keeping my Was that a harness? Yes, we have tata -ta tape. We have tata -ta tape. But also, um, like in the Blood and Glitter video, he was wearing a long red wig too, and now he's wearing a long grey wig. I'm like, is this a theme um, with wigs? Because, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of wigs. Seriously though, like, okay, so I do love, I do love Lord of Lost. I love their songs. This song is not doing it for me. The lyrics are just a bit too um, emo. It's like, I'm so done with everything. And it's like, oh my God, <laughs> teen angst. You know what I am loving is this little like PVC bolero and I'm loving his like neck makeup. It's really good. So tired, 
<laughs> Boo -boo. Sorry, I'm so immature. Um, I do actually do love a bit of the old um, tata tape for myself. Um, but I like this harness and he's wearing his like signature jewelry. Look at all the guys in the background just like throwing shapes and stuff. You know, it looks like this was filmed in the same place that Blood and Glare was. I don't know if I'm hearing this correctly, but it sounds like there's like a choir in the background or some like, I don't know. But I like that. That is a really nice touch. Um, and I'm liking the snow and I'm loving, loving the old uh, fishnet vest. You know, I'm trying to like this. I am. I really like this band, but this video, um, hmm. That said, I mean, it's still pretty. It's still well put together. Like, you can't fault the technical aspects of the video. Um... It's probably just me. I just don't, I don't think I like this song. And, and, you know, I had the same problem with Viva Vendetta. I didn't like Viva Vendetta itself, but I did like how the video was crafted. And that was uh, Matteo and Chiara. And I suspect this is them too. And they do make a beautiful video. So even if, you know, you're not in love with the content itself, you can still at least appreciate the craft that went into it. Like I said, I, I want to like this. And actually, even with all this and the snow, it really is giving Miss Habersham vibes. Uh. Um, is that a disco ball head? A disco ball hat? Helmet? <laughs> no, 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 no. See, this part of the song, this is what I like. The kind of more oof and the energy and the upwards, the kind of like, I'm so done with it's like It's like that. But this bit, I'm up here. I'm, yeah, I'm here for this. And also, like, can we just, why does class kind of looks like a, not like a white walker, but kind of like with all the snow in his hair, kind of like, I want to say like an abominable snowman. So, if we're going to be honest, kind of what this reminds me of, like the big shiny, like one, he looks like a disco ball, but two, given the shape of the helmet and the like shiny kind of metalness of it, it the, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't want to say this in case my mom or my dad watches this, but um, Remington Steel is the name that comes to mind and it kind of looks like a woman's marital aid. I 
I love that little touch. I love like the snow on the drums. Like what I'm hoping for is he hits it really hard and then all the snow goes flying up. You know what you can oh jared always like he looks so fantastic when he plays it's the same when he plays on stage it's like a full body performance like the musical talent is there but also he throws his whole body into it and i love i love that by watching him perform I mean, tell me that doesn't look like a, you know. <laughs> okay, kind of like Marvel movies, these guys always like leave an Easter egg at the end, so let's just watch through the credits. Yay, Mateo! Oh, it was filmed at the same place as Blood and Glare. Okay. Let's see. Oh, recording Spill. I've been to Spill. That place is gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of the uni time that I went to in St. Andrews, but still is like so beautiful, so unspoiled. But like, take all your money and consider taking out a bank loan because that place is expensive, but it is definitely worth visiting. Come on, where's my Easter egg? So you can probably tell from my reaction, this one left me a little cold. <laughs> you might say a little frosty given all the fake snow that was there. Uh, costumes, like whatever, pretty bland. Um, the song is not my favorite. It's a bit too slow for me. I'm not one of these kind of ballad girls. I think one of the ballads that's literally the exception to the rule for me is um, Darkness that dark, darkness at the heart of my love <laughs> by ghost i think that's literally one of the few ballads where i'm like oh, yeah i'm actually into this um so it's left me a bit cold i'm disappointed to say but blood and glitter was an absolute banger and i'm pretty sure uh the one that's coming up is going to be pretty good too so yeah i mean this is i think this might be the first time i've ever not completely loved a lord of love video and i mean I just feel like the costuming, the makeup, everything just kind of was a bit down. And I, I don't know, I don't know who let that man go out in a disco ball helmet and didn't say, dude, maybe not. Maybe you look like a silver marital aid. Like, maybe don't or go for a different look. That said, though, I did like the body harnesses. I mean, the song itself, it is beautiful. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, yeah. I feel really bad now. I feel terrible. Like it's not nice to kind of diss, not even diss, like to not love you know, your favorite bands like stuff. And I feel terrible. And if you see this, like, I know you probably won't, but like, if you see this guys, you know, you know, I do like you and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I just have to be honest. This, this one was not for me. Mm. But if you see my blood and glitter reaction, that one was for me. Actually, I sometimes wonder if maybe I should go back and look at some of their older stuff and react to that because there is a couple in there that I do love. And actually, there is one in particular that I do love called Full Metal Horror. And I actually got to speak to Mateo about that. And I was, <laughs> I was literally like, so where was that? Asking for science. Hmm. Who was that beautiful model? Because if you go watch Full Metal Horror, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, enough of a ramble from me. I will uh, say goodnight and go try and figure out how the hell I'm going to get out of this latex dress on my own. It's like zipped up to here. No clue. Can't ask the cat for help. So <laughs> I might be stuck in this dress for a while. Um, all right. You take care. And until next time, you stay classy. Is this thing still recording? Yes, it is. Okay. Until next time, you stay classy.